Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you guys my second 90s hair tutorial. Okay girls, if you were around in the 90s or early 2000s, but if you were around in the 90s and you remember these little butterfly clips, right? These little things right here. They're so freaking cute. This is the tutorial that I'm gonna show you today. There are so many different ways to use butterfly clips, but the classic way would be to do these little twisties. They don't have to be neat. They can be big ones, small ones. Mine are kind of small, but you would just twist your hair, clip it with this, but then there's so many different ways that you could use butterfly clips, but this is just the more classic way. Believe it or not, these butterfly clips were pretty hard to find considering the 90s are coming back in style. So I think somebody should make some more of these because I would like to get fun colors, you know? And I could not find any fun colors, but I did want to do hairstyles that you guys could wear today and I feel like the neutral tone of these butterfly clips makes it okay to wear nowadays. Does it make it look so childish? Oh yes, I'm feeling myself. I feel like I'm channeling a little bit of Cher from Clueless with the dress, a little bit of Baywatch and also a little bit of Mariah Carey. So before I get into the tutorial, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, then please take a moment to subscribe. I upload new videos every single week. You won't regret it. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial now. I'm beginning this tutorial with clean, dried hair. And first order of business is to section off the top of my hair where I'm going to use this area to create the twists and also leave a little bit extra so that way I can cover the extensions that I'm going to put in. Again, if you're not putting in extensions, then obviously you don't have to worry about this part. My parting is a little crooked, well maybe a lot crooked, <laughs> but if you want a perfect parting then obviously you can use a comb. So I'm using my Bellamy extensions that I custom dyed myself and I'm going to start clipping these in from the bottom to the top. To curl my extensions, I'm using my 1 inch Hot Tools Nano Ceramic Curling Iron. Now, I wish I would have washed these extensions to get the deep wave out from the last tutorial that we did. So, yeah, because my curl pattern came out a little weird, but we're still going to make it work, girls. And I don't know about you guys, but I like the messy look. I kind of sped through a lot of the clipping in and curling of the extensions because it is pretty repetitive and self-explanatory. Can you like move that fan directly toward me because I'm about to freaking I'm hot. Sure, babe, whatever you need. I'll go ahead and take it off myself and put it on you. That's what you're supposed to do. After my extensions are curled, I'm just going to run my fingers through my hair and also brush it with my Denman brush because again, I don't want perfect hair. I touched up any curls within my extensions that had to be touched up and now I'm going to work with what is left out. So I'm just going to go over everything on top with a curling iron. Again, I'm not creating perfect curls, I'm just going to add some body so that way it blends nicely and also so that way it's not stick straight and it looks nice. I am going to work one side at a time. I'm going to work with my left side first and I'm going to create triangular parts like this. Today I'm going to be using Chi Pliable Polish. This is one of my holy grail products for years and it just gives your hair that texture to get creative with updos, anything like that, twists, braids. I love it because it keeps the hair intact 
but it's not crunchy at all and it's also not greasy and it also has a pearly finish so it makes your hair look super shiny and healthy anyway so I'm gonna start twisting these pieces as you just saw going to the back and as I'm working to the back I'm grabbing more hair kind of like a French braid but a lot easier and faster and then when I get to the end I'm just going to bobby pin it like so that part is optional you can just clip your hair straight away with the butterfly clips but if your hair is prone to be slippery or if it's heavy if you have thicker hair then a bobby pin always helps I sped this part up for the sake of time, but I did want to mention that you always want to customize hairstyles according to your hair type and your hairline, okay? So I have kind of a funky hairline, as you can see. So I'm basing this entire style off of my widow's peak, and that's why I'm shaping my twist the way that I do. So pay attention to those little details, and that makes the difference between a mediocre hairstyle and an amazing one. After I've secured all of my twists, I'm just going to apply some edge control to my baby hairs just to make this look nice and neat. And now it's time for the fun part. Girls, I searched high and low for these butterfly clips. And the only place that had them was icing. Yes, icing the jewelry store in the mall, the accessory store. That's super cute. This is the only place that has these butterfly clips that you can go get them today. Okay? So I'm going to be alternating colors. I'm going to do gold and the tortoise shell ones. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. And then I'm just going to grab a boar bristle brush and my Chi and Viral Flex Hold hairspray and blend the ends of my hair with my extensions. Just make little touch-ups like that. And now I'm grabbing my Amika Undone Texture Spray and I'm going to spray this into my hair just to make it a little bit bigger, more voluminous, more devalicious. I want to walk down the street and I want people to stop me and say, oh my gosh, Mariah Carey, is that you circa 1997? Like, I want that kind of hair. After you've tamed any flyaways, this look is all done, so don't forget to take your selfies. Leave me comments down below. Don't forget to share this video, like, and definitely hit that subscribe button before you leave. And you guys will see me in my next. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. And on that note, <laughs> literally get it. <laughs>